What's going on, everybody? Today on Marketing Siege Radio, I wanted to talk and rant a little bit. So get ready. Here it goes. So do you know what really grinds my gears? Like, I love Family Guy. I really do. And I remember whenever that that episode, that movie came out, uh, Stewie Griffin, The Untold Story, I remember sitting in my dorm room at Ole Miss and laughing just hysterically at, you know, just something as simple as that. Little did I know that, it, you know, the significance that that gears itself would have in my life for a multitude of reasons at that point. But beside the point, quit story. So the other day, I'm playing around a Rainbow Sit Siege. And it's something I like to do to reward myself after completing the most important tasks of the day. Like, that's super important. Like, that's, that's one of those little hacks right there. It's like whenever you do something good, you immediately need to reward yourself in a constructive way. You're like, you know, even, even the gamers among us out there that might be listening right now is like, while gaming might not be hurting anybody, it might not exactly be constructive. It's like, well, true, but I set out on a mission to make it constructive. It's one it's it's one I like to keep three hobbies like I talk I keep saying this over and over again and this is the one that keeps me creative I often have my biggest breakthroughs in my life and business whenever I take a few minutes to unwind for it all people will put bad labels on it bad connotations of escapism is like the truth is your brain needs that escape your brain needs the fun in order for the answers to bubble up from your subconscious sometimes uh, and I stole that that phrase bubble up from your subconscious from Jim Edwards one time. Um, but it just, it just really stuck with me because that's, that's really is what happens. That's what it feels like. It's just kind of like, Oh, oh. it was like, now I know what to do, you know, as well as my hobby to make money and my hobby to stay healthy. So this is the one that keeps me creative. Now, as you know, it's important to schedule in some intentional fun as a business owner, as a serial entrepreneur. We were laying in bed last night, uh, my wife and I, and she was like, do you realize that we own two businesses now? And I was like, yeah, and you're forgetting the third project I'm working on. <laughs> it's like, oh, so as a serial entrepreneur, you got to schedule, like you can't just be like, oops, I'm going to have some fun whenever I feel like it. That's a recipe for disaster. You have to have scheduled in time slots for fun. And you can use your hobby, whatever it may be, to draw out that latent creativity as well. But in the world of online games, you need to stand guard at the gateway to your brain, the the input. Like I'm a firm believer that your your diet, diet is a bad word, let's just call it input. Your input is not uh, is not only the food and liquid that you put in your body. It's also what comes in through your ears, through your senses. And, uh, you know, those people that are trolls online or anybody else that talks negative, like it'll seep in, they'll become your thoughts, your, your words, your actions, your habits, your character over time. So, you have to stand guard at the gateway to your brain on this. Now, normally whenever I play online and I'm not with a group of people that I know, I go straight for the mute button because I know it never ends up good. <laughs> There's a bunch of people out there playing online games that are meeting their needs in not just a neutral way, but a very destructive way. They're deriving their significance from games. That's the only way they feel important. How much pain are these people actually in if you think about it for a second you know they're they're gaining their certainty their variety their significance their connection and they get this false sense of growth and this might be a stretch rarely do they actually contribute in a meaningful way i would say this type of person and you know that that begins to manifest itself in a number of highly destructive ways um in the real world but these people must be in a tremendous amount of pain to to be there uh i know i've been not i wouldn't say i was the worst of the worst but i've been in a similar similar spot in my life before 
as I've talked about before. But, you know, for whatever reason, on this day, I decided to give the internet a chance. This is going to be a big mistake. So I wasn't having the most spectacular of performances that day. I hadn't played in, in a couple of days. Like, you know, business had picked up. Things had started going in motion. I was playing a different online game, the game of online business. And you get awful rusty when you don't play for hours at a time anymore <laughs> like I used to. And uh, Rainbow Sits is a very unforgiving game. It's very precise. And I love it because it reminds me of MMA and jiu-jitsu. It's like one little mistake and you're done. Like it's over. It's, it's high, high states problem solving fast uh, with not as many dire physical consequences to your health, I would say. But anyway, it was, you know, the last round, it was a tied game. The final seconds of the round were weaning down. And three out of the five teammates were dead. It was me and one other guy. And so this person is securing the area, and my teammate gets dropped immediately during this. Like, we were going to pincer him, and my teammate gets dropped. No call-outs were made. No, hey, he's by the bed laying down. None of that. None of that. <laughs> anyway, and, and like I said, my aiming gets – it gets better every day that I practice, but as I get older, I have to work harder at it, and there's just other stuff that, that kind of takes precedence. But uh, no call-outs were made, no useful information. None of the dead teammates who have access to the cameras and viewpoints of everyone else, not a word. So I, I round the corner of where I was going. I was going down the hallway, checked the angles, and I shot high. Like, I pre-fired where I thought that they were. I'd eliminated all these possibilities, shot where I thought they were. I shot high. As I said earlier, they were laying down by the bed. I got creamed, like, lost us the round. Then all of a sudden, as if by magic, these dead teammates spoke up. And they began to say things like, good job, you fucking idiot. Way to blow it. That's why you check your corners. Like I mentioned before, I did. I just missed. Now, let me ask you a question. Does that sort of behavior encourage teamwork, best results, best effort whenever you're, you criticize somebody for no reason? Like, of course not. Bunch of sad, miserable fuckers, if you ask me. However, you know, obviously, if you're listening to this right now, you're not one of those micromanaging, backseat driving, Captain Hindsighted teammates. Online or offline, those people exist. And I have news for you. They are not your team. Running an online business is just like playing an online game. The only people you should listen to are your closest inner circle of family and friends and those that pay you for your advice. And it really grinds my gears that most people don't know, have forgotten, or were never taught, never knew how to be a good teammate. It seems like long gone are the days of, hey man, pick your head up, you'll get them next time. It's like, these are the sort of people that have never been punched in the face before. And uh, my challenge to you today is to be a good teammate and go pick somebody up that's having a hard time. Don't be that person that's like, oh, you should have done this while that person is, is weak from having messed up. Tell them it's all right. Tell them you'll get them next time. Encourage them to remember the last time they did it right instead of thinking about the last time they did it wrong. Stand guard at the gateway of your mind. It's important that you keep that trash out of your mind or else it, it pollutes your brain and, you know, lastly, understand that you become your environment. Whatever you surround yourself, whoever you surround yourself with, that becomes you. And that's something that's important. And that's something that you got to pay attention to. You get to pay attention to. The good news is you get to create your own environment, but it starts from the inside out. And if somebody is not on your team, online or offline, hit that mute button figuratively or not, and delete them for, from your reality. So remember, guys, you're one upgrade away.